Please welcome our first panelists of the morning, Planet Forward Consortium students and young innovators, Eva Moss from Swanee, Tommy and Benji from Travels with Benji, Sumner Byrne from the George Washington University, and Kino Soul from Iowa State University. Good morning, everyone. Hey, I'm Eva Moss from Swanee, the University of the South, and I'm here because I grew up in a foreign service family, spending much of my childhood in the tropics, where I had fresh produce right in my backyard. And moving to the US, um, I moved to organic foods, and I liked them a lot, but didn't really know much about how they were produced. So last summer, I decided to do something different and went off to New Hampshire to work on a permaculture farm, where, where I became deeply inspired and, and deeply concerned with the young farmers of my generation. We're Travels, Travels with Benji. Benji. Tommy and I took a road trip across America to document innovations in agriculture. We slept in the back of Benji's van for two months living on a shoestring budget. And when we say shoestring, we really, really mean it. Yeah, that means sleeping at truck stops, commandeering outlets to power our panini press, and long hours of editing at public libraries. And why did we do this? We wanted to explore the bold new ideas that are shaping food systems across the country. From Farmed Here, the country's largest indoor aquaponics facility that uses futuristic growing techniques to produce almost a million pounds of fresh, organic, local produce for the city of Chicago each year. To individuals like Giuseppe, who runs a traveling tea cafe powering both himself and his converted uh, school bus solely on waste. From large scale to small scale, urban to rural, we uncovered stories of innovation in a fun and accessible way. In the hopes of connecting our gener in the hopes of inspiring our generation to invest in the future of our food system today. As we are the agents of change for tomorrow. Hi there. My name's Sumner and I love food. It all started way back in my childhood in the summers. I would look forward to Saturday mornings more than anything, not for cartoons but for early morning farmer's markets with my mom. I thought they were thrilling and so beautiful. And it wasn't until years later that I realized that those farmer's markets might not be there in the future thanks to climate change. Now, climate change divides us at the moment, but food has the power to unite us. And I believe that if we tell the right stories about how those two are so thoroughly intertwined, we have the power to change minds, promote understanding, and make a difference one little girl at a farmer's market at a time. Hello everyone, my name is Ella Gerke and I am part of a four-person team from Iowa State University. Each member on my team deeply cares about global food security and ending post-harvest loss. This passion led us to create a mobile solar dryer to be used in the developing world to battle the issues of micronutrient deficiencies. The reason we care about this issue is because we've seen it. We've seen children standing in front of us suffering from micronutrient deficiencies, and we've seen the consequences that hunger has on the world. This, this experience has motivated us to want to combat these issues and be the generation that feeds the world. Now, please welcome your host for the summit, director of GW School of Media and Public Affairs, and founder of Planet Forward, Frank Sesno. Well, guys. I thought I'd make an unusual entry, but start by thanking these guys from four schools doing amazing things. And it's, it's sort of the perfect way to launch, right? Because what they're here for and what you're here for is a real dialogue. And we want to hear from you all. We want to hear more from you. That, well, we got a panel and we got people on stage and we're going to want to hear from them. And throughout the day, people are going to be cycling in and out. So thanks very much, guys. Come have a seat and join the conversation. 